Good morning, Forest. I'm Ethan. And I'm Kennedy. Today's date is Friday, February 14th, and on today's show, we'll have all of your Wildcat news and sports. Today is Valentine's Day, and that means you can still purchase cookies today along with other fun treats to give to your special someone. Book Club is also selling Belgian chocolate rosebuds for a dollar. They'll be handed out today, and if you wish to do so, they can be anonymous. We'll be right back. In spirit of Valentine's Day, Miss Pullers has worked very hard to get the library into the spirit. This year, they sold chocolate-covered roses that will be passed out today, so be on the lookout for one that might be headed your way. If you missed out on a chocolate rose, STN will be selling red velvet cookies for a dollar. So today, make sure to show a little extra love. Happy Valentine's Day, Wildcats. Also, if you missed the opportunity to buy a rose, you can buy them today. And in case you still want to deliver it, you can do it yourself. You can order the rosebuds and the treats in the library. Let's go to Emma with today's special live interview. What's up, Wildcats? I'm he Emma, here to get a closer take on Valentine's Day here in the studio. So what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, me personally, I don't have any plans. I'm probably just going to pick up my boys and we're just going to cruise around town or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's single season for me, so I'm chilling tonight with my girlies. Awesome. So Chase, do you know the meaning of Valentine's Day? Um, I can't say I've ever really put much thought into it, so no, uh, I don't think I know the meaning. Even though we might not know the meaning of this special holiday, stay tuned in the show to find out. This has been Emma reporting. Now back to your anchors. Valentine's Day can be such a fun holiday regardless if you're booed up or you're not. Let's check out how other people around campus are spending today and get some insight on how this holiday actually started. People either love or hate Valentine's Day, but what do Forest students actually know about the holiday? When was the first Valentine sent? 1595. Uh, February 14th, I don't know, many years ago? <laughs> Last week. February 14th, 1600. How many flowers were sent on Valentine's Day in 2010? 1,333. Um, one billion. A million. million. What percent of Americans celebrate Valentine's Day every year? <laughs> it's like 80%. 50%? Two million. Seventy percent. Seventy-four. Who started Valentine's Day? A stranger. Uh, Mr. Valentine. <laughs> Isaac Newton. Gage did. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Nothing. I am going to dinner with my boyfriend. I'm going to UF to watch my boyfriend's brother play baseball. <laughs> going skiing. Uh, sleeping. I'm baking. Hanging out with my girlfriend. Looks like Forrest needs to freshen up on their Valentine's trivia. Happy Valentine's Day, Forrest. Now back to the anchors. Winter formal tickets are now on sale. It can be purchased until February 20th. Also, prom tickets are on sale for $125 until the 25th. And while you're buying your prom tickets, you can also purchase your grad bash tickets as well in room B161 for $115. As one of the events for celebrating Florida literacy, the library is holding a rumble, books versus movies. That's right. Students can win one of two $25 movie gift cards, and if you're willing to fill out a short form, you may win a basket that has gift cards, movie candy, and other related movie items. This contest starts now through the 28th. If that isn't the contest for you, MEA is sponsoring a Fall in Love with Reading event. Any book you check out now until the February 28th gets you entered in a drawing for Barnes & Noble gift card. This drawing is to be held on March 4th. Let's throw it over to Chase with all our sports going on now. Good morning and ha happy Valentine's Day, Forrest. I'm Chase and I got your sports news for today. We are WCAT Sports. Starting us 
us off, your boys basketball team is in the midst of a deep playoff run, and they'll play for a district championship tonight when they take on Mainland at 7 p.m. at New Smyrna Beach. Lacrosse season is quickly approaching, and both the boys and girls teams had scrimmages last night. The girls team, the green team won for the girls, and the fellas tied. That's all the sports news I have for you today. Now back to the anchors. It's great to see that our sports team are doing so well this season. Students, don't forget that from now on, school IDs are a part of dress code. And if you don't have one, you will be sent down to guidance to purchase a new one for $5. Make sure that you have a parking pass in order to avoid disciplinary actions and no parking, pickup, or drop-off should take place in the front of the school. Students, make sure to check your emails as Ms. Pollers and Ms. Miller are both sending important announcements out to the students. Before we head off on this sweet holiday, let's check out our Valentine's Day shout-outs. Christopher Wagner from Macaro Deep, I love you babe, happy Valentine's Day, XOA. To Miss Sanchez from Mrs. Deshaun, Feliz Dia del Amor. To Trinity Williams from Anonymous, I love you sweetheart. To Miss Lancey from Mrs. Deshaun, Feliz Dia del Amor. To Chloe Best from Anonymous, you are beautiful. Cooper the sophomore from Jilly St. Gouge. I love you very much and wish you the best Valentine's Day. I am very happy and extremely honored to be your first Valentine. I wish to spend more happy days in the future and special ones such as this one. I love you very much from the bottom of my heart, Catherine. Happy Valentine's Day, my love, my sweet, my pride, and joy each and every day. To Miss Malgerio and Trevor Nix and Summer Quinn. From Justin Vincent, you're the best. Thanks for making musical theater the bomb.com. To Shamari Pook from Anonymous, you are amazing. To Trevor Williams from Riley Odom, you are my homeboy forever. To my homecoming queen, Shawari Pope from Your Little Yeah. Message, I love you like a fat kid loves cake to the moon and back. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. To Mrs. Norman from Zayran Ali. Your dedication and patience is truly remarkable. I want you to know that you're such an amazing teacher. You encourage us to grab every opportunity along the way. That learning made us triumphant in life. Thank you for everything you've done. Happy Valentine's Day. To Riley Odin from Trevor Williams, you'll be my friend to the end. Pay us stay in school and don't do drugs. To Chase Cook from Anonymous, I love ya. To Katie Wood from Anonymous, you are amazing. To everyone single from Anonymous, you are not alone. To everyone from Coach Ward, why do people think Vanguard is better? Happy Valentine's Day. That's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things for us, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Once again, I'm Kennedy. And I'm Ethan. Have a great Valentine's Day, Forrest, and like always, Go, go Cats! Cats.